Hey my friends. It's great to see you tuning in. Let's have a great time together. Crucibles play a critical role in many manufacturing processes, such as metal casting, glass making, and chemical analysis. They enable the melting and casting of metals and alloys, the production of glass and ceramics, and the analysis of chemical substances. The manufacturing process of crucibles involves several steps, including raw material preparation, molding, drying, firing, and finishing. First, raw material preparation. The first step in the manufacturing process is raw material preparation. The raw materials are mixed with water and additives to form a slurry. Then remove the moisture from the slurry and extrude into clay. Second, molding. Once the clay is prepared, it is placed inside a larger mold and surrounded by a refractory material, such as plaster. The mold is then rotate to ensure that the refractory material fills all the gaps around the sand core. The mold is then left to dry and harden. Then, drying. After the mold is formed, it is left to dry for several hours or days. The drying process is critical, as any moisture in the mold can cause the crucible to crack during firing. Last, firing. The next step in the manufacturing process is firing, where the mold is heated to a high temperature to harden the refractory material and remove any remaining moisture. The firing temperature and duration depend on the type of crucible and the materials used. If you are looking for high-quality fire assay clay crucibles for your metal analysis applications, then look no further than our products. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or would like to place an order, please visit our website or leave a comment below.